What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you guys may know, the world has been going very crazy the past few days. Almost feels unreal. So I feel like it wouldn't be right if I just didn't touch up on it just a little bit. So I just wanted to say I hope each and every one of you guys is safe and you guys are doing well. I want to spread love, spread positivity, and support the movements that are going on right now. I don't want to get into it too detailed because that could be a completely separate video, a video dedicated completely to that topic. But again, like I said, in California, life has definitely changed for a lot of people. Bay Area, Los Angeles, all those major cities, and I'm sure there's smaller towns as well across the United States and across the world. I just wanted to touch up on it and say that I want to spread my love, peace, and positivity to each and every one of you guys, all right? With all that being said, I would like to do a quick moment of silence. Thank you guys so much for that. Now let's transition to the video for today. I'm gonna take my energy and just ramp it up a little bit. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. For today's video, we have another Beater Box, one of you guys' favorite series, and honestly, one of my favorite series that I have on this channel by far. Now before we get started, I did something that I, ah oh man, it's so bad. So I went ahead, recorded this entire video, right? And in my room, it's super hot right now. It's sauna vibes. But you know what I didn't do when I originally recorded this I forgot to turn off my AC unit So the audio on that thing was mad trash. I tried editing it out and I wasn't messing with it, all right? So right now, your boy is in a sauna. I turn off the AC. We are cooking out here. See that? cooking. Let's see if we can hit 3,000 likes on this video right here. Besides my noob mistake, I already took a look at all of these sneakers, so they're not really going to be a surprise to me, but they will still be a surprise for you guys. So without any further ado, let's get into it. This one was a $1,500 beater box from eBay. I've never purchased an eBay beater box before, so this is my first one. So I wanted to start off on the little bit lower end. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. I didn't want to do like a $3,000 box. I was just like, let's do half. Let's start off with half. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe because we're almost at 575,000 subscribers. Thank y'all so much. So let's see what we got in this box right here. First things first, we have the Air Jordan 13 Retro White, Black, True Red, and Cement Gray. Maybe y'all know what these are by the box, but if you don't, here we go. These right here are the Gray Toe Air Jordan 13s, and I feel like a lot of people sleep on these ones. These are definitely a clean colorway in my opinion. They have the nice red hit on the midsole, and that suede on the upper is mad nice and velvety. It looks like this pair has like a little indentation or something. Small indentation, maybe like a small crease, but overall this pair is looking really nice. So on this side we have our counter of course giving us the competitive market price of these shoes right here. Also the price that I'll be selling it on my website for on shopsoltopia.com. So if you guys see anything you like in this video, you know where to go. Link is down below in the description. Here's a look at the inside. It looks like these are maybe worn three, four times. If I didn't have this pair already, I probably would have swooped these but since I already have them they're going straight to you guys these ones are a size 10 pretty good shoe pretty good shoe next up we got a crazy box right here when I originally saw this box I was like whoa my homie Anderson blue did the design for this for Foot Locker. it was a collab that he had with a6 on it he absolutely killed this design if you guys want to show the homie some love I'll pop his Instagram right here just shoot him a follow he does crazy illustrations and everything dude is mad talented so I open up this box and boom this is what I got Woo! Definitely somebody's gym shoes right here. We have these gray NMDs. I'm not sure if there's an official colorway for this, but I think I'm gonna either donate these or just sell it for stupid cheap. Maybe somebody wants their own hiking shoes or gym shoes. I'll probably let these go for like 20 bucks. Um, replacement box with the Anderson Blue, and these are a size 10 and a half. Not really the best shoe, but this is a beater box from eBay. So I don't really set my expectations too high, to be honest with you. I think eBay is one of the more sketch places to get beater boxes. So I just wanted to get this video out and show you guys what I got. Adidas NMDs. The third shoe that we have right here comes in an Adidas box. And actually this box right here is the box for those original NMDs that we just saw. So maybe they just switched it up because on the inside we have a stupid beat pair 
of the Diamond Dunk Lows. They might not look too bad, but I'm telling you, man, I don't even know what to price these ones at just because of how beat they are. Let me show y'all. All right, class, gather around. Let's see what these things look like. So on the bottom, of course, this midsole is easily cleanable, right? But once we get to like the back we see some fraying and all that and that was like a small indication to me like this this is definitely a shoe that has been worn once i look at the inside part bruh out of all my years of collecting shoes i have never had the inside sock liner rip on me like this so he either got in his shoe real aggressively or his dog ripped it up because this thing man it's not looking good it's not looking good and then the insole is like kind of like a dirty tiffany so i should probably uh, wash my hands after holding this shoe right here but yeah i just wish that these were in a little bit better condition of course i could make them look a lot better the only thing about these is like i don't really know what to price them at so i might hold on to these just keep them as beaters everyday wears once i thoroughly clean these and disinfect them or i might throw them to you guys on the website but you guys gotta head to the website to check it out here it is on the counter that's my guesstimation right there that one might not be like a solid price but that's an approximate price that i'm gonna price these at bro i'm literally dying in here i was thinking about installing a sauna somewhere in this house but I think I got one in my room, so this is cool right here. I have an orange Nike box. I'm guessing this one is a replacement one just because the tag is ripped off. I don't remember what was in here. And yes, this is a replacement box. I remember when these dropped actually back in the day, and I thought this was a pretty clean colorway. When I looked these up, I saw that the value of them was still pretty good, man. It's like it kind of went up a little bit. So if you guys are looking for a pair of these, these are a size... 11 they originally came out in 2012 i believe and black and yellow colorway looking real nice now the only thing about these is it does have some paint cracking on the lemonade midsoles but if you guys don't mind that then this shoe is pretty clean other than the cracking probably gonna do a nice clean on this using my magic sneaker solution and for everybody asking about that i will have it available very soon it's just been very difficult for me to find hdpe bottles to ship them in because literally everybody was buying all the bottles out so i'm trying to source them right now so next box we have the ultimate Air Jordan face box. When I see this, it gives me the chills a little bit. Look, he's peeking right at you. Oh my God. Oh my God. And boom. We have some 2001 Cool Gray 11s. Ooh. Now these are a size 11 and they are actually pretty clean for a 2001 pair here we go take a quick look at it patent leather obviously oxidized over time i know there's a lot of people out there that do appreciate the aged look when it comes to you know the older air jordans i'm noticing that the outsoles are starting to kind of come apart like that and obviously if you ever want to wear these you're gonna have to do a full re-glue to make them super solid yeah here you go just a quick look at it uppers are super clean it's just the oxidation on this pair right here look at the back and everything all right guys we have four sneakers left and we have the silver air jordan box another one of my favorite boxes that i love to see whenever i see this box it automatically reminds me of either a bordeaux 7 or a jordan 6 oreo let me know what this box reminds you of in the comment section down below it's just certain boxes that will remind me of certain shoes i'm not sure if it's just me but that's how i feel about this box right here so this one is an air jordan 4 this is a size 11 and retail was $115. Oh, we need to bring that back. Check out this paper and woo. The Air Jordan Mars 4s. Wow, these things are beautiful. Now this shoe released in 2006, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 2006. This one is definitely an older pair. This is about 14 years old. So I'm not sure if they're completely wearable. And judging by that air unit, I don't know, man. I feel like once you put these on, the paint is going to crack like crazy. You might be able to get a few wears out of them before the whole midsole starts to crumble. But I think that this one, again, is one of those collector's pieces or they might be sent to somebody to just soul swap because the uppers are so clean on this one got mars blackman on the back that's why i really like this pair from 2006. yo whoever buys this if you do a nike air tab on it oh these things are fresh man i wish these were my size i would totally send them to my dude to soul swap and do that back tab swap so far i feel pretty good about this ebay box there were some kind of hard ones to price but yeah let's keep it rolling size 10 and a half air jordan one retro high 
black metallic gold. The Mellow Air Jordan 1s, and they have something on the back heel. I don't know. I might be able to get that off. I might not. That will be the determining factor of the price of this shoe. I know I could for sure bring that midsole back. This one definitely has been worn a few times, maybe to like a party or a bar or something. It looks like something liquid spilled all over there, but hopefully I can get this out because if this is just stained, the value of the shoe is going to drop tremendously. Size 10 and a half, mellow ones. Next shoe up, we have a foam posit box, baby. Metallic gold, foam posit one size 10. These ones are actually in very good condition. Look at that. Oh, comment down below. Are you guys into foams or are you not? There was a time where I started collecting foam posits and I really didn't wear them. So I just kind of got out of it. So I, I had a small phase. I didn't really go too crazy on them, but let me know what you guys think about these. I know they could be a hit or miss for a lot of people. But I noticed solid colorways like this, the gold, blue, red, black, they will tend to sell over the other ones with like weird prints and weird colors on them. So this one is definitely a solid one. Look at the icy sole, maybe worn like one or two times. I definitely could clean these up real nice, no real yellowing on it. These are definitely gonna help us add money to the counter. For the last shoe, this is an Air Max Penny size 10, retails for $140. And let's check these things out. This is my first time seeing them in person. And I mean, they're not really a shoe for me, but they may be a shoe for you guys. My roommate in college will wear something like this. Yo, Christian, if you're watching this, shout out to you, Christian. I miss you, man. This is definitely a Christian shoe right here. One of the cool features on this sneaker is that swoosh. Very subtle shoe. Something that I would probably wear white Nike long socks with and shorts for the summer. Pretty clean look. I don't think that these go for too much. I want to say maybe like 125, 100 ish or something. But yeah, that's going to conclude the eBay box right there. Let me know what you guys think about it. The total amount spent on this box was $1,500. That included shipping and everything. After selling all of these sneakers, I could potentially sell them for this price right here. Now keep in mind that is an estimation, a guesstimation. And at this point in the video, I have no idea what everything is going for. I really just have to go ahead and check on it and do all of that. That stuff so I can't really gauge how this box is going but I think that we had some decent shoes in here um there were some that were flops a little bit harder to move I'm hoping that we were able to profit some on this box I don't expect it to be a crazy amount being that it's an eBay box but who knows right now it's the following day and I finally had a chance to break down everything and I am not impressed with this eBay box it looks like we have about a hundred and what was it? 170 or 160 dollars in profit yeah 170 dollars in profit and yes this was a somewhat cheaper box but honestly moving about 10 pairs just to profit 170 dollars i don't know y'all tell me if you think that's worth it based on the previous boxes that we've done i mean i don't know it's self-explanatory at least we're not losing on this box but yeah i also forgot to mention that i started making these crazy slides for the summer so if you guys want to purchase them they will be on the website they're crafted with 100 percent authentic material handmade by yours truly and slots are starting to sell out so if you guys want to purchase anything and secure them they're all pre-orders head over to the website and show your boy some love all right hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll go ahead and close you guys out right now but yeah man i'm burning up in here again let's see if we can get 3,000 likes on this one and i'll do a crazy expensive box for the month of june because this month is my birth month all right so we're gonna go crazy on it again stay safe out there i'm spreading love peace and positivity to each and every one of you guys i love each and every one of y'all i'll see you very soon for the next video it's your boy sneakerhead in the bay i'm out Peace.